Welcome back, fitness friends. I'm Stacy, and I'm looking forward to you joining me for my aqua wall workout. So you can set up right next to your wall and follow along. We'll start with that warm up. Just face the wall. You can hold on to it if you'd like or not. And then we're going to spring those heels up behind you, doing some butt kickers. Just one heel up, then the other. An option to bound. So you can either have low impact with no bounding, or you can bound from foot to foot. Again, this is your workout, so please work however feels good to you. And let's go ahead and add some arms. Take those arms and try to just reach down and try to tap towards those feet. As those feet come up, just kind of bring the hand down to tap towards those feet. Start bringing those knees in front of you, using your abdominals to pull those knees higher and higher as you go. We want to start warming up those abs, start to stretch those glutes, and then let's also add some upper body movement here. So you have the option of hanging onto the wall, keeping hands on hips, or if you'd like, you can go ahead and just start punching those fists forward. So we're going to just punch them forward, and then we're going to start doing two forward and then two out in a wider V fashion. So two forward, then two out in a wide V. Let's get comfortable with that wall. Go ahead and hold on to the side of the wall, face sideways here. And you're going to take the outside leg, the one furthest from the wall, and you're going to step it forward, then together, then backwards. So what we're just doing here is a forward and a reverse lunge. And we're getting comfort with the wall because we will be using it to hold on to. So thinking tall posture, stepping bigger and deeper as you go. Time to switch legs. Just use the inside leg to step forward and back, or you can turn around and use the outside leg again, but just face the other direction. Give yourself some space, space away from the wall and widen up your feet. Have those hands together in the front long and we're just going to bring them across the surface of the water just on the surface here. Go across from the right to the left. You're going to try to pivot through your hips. Make sure your feet aren't totally planted to the floor. After a few of those, let's start changing into more of a figure eight. So you want to start diving the hands down a little bit deeper, still going from side to side. Step your feet into a staggered fashion, one foot forward of the other. Then you're going to do a crisscross and open. Crisscross your hands in the front, then open them out to a T shape. As you crisscross, pull in your belly button. As you open, really stretch through the chest muscles. Let's pay a little attention to those hands and wrists since we will be grabbing the wall quite a bit today. Start those feet into a light jog and take those wrists into some circles, a few in each direction. So some to the right, some to the left. And then after those wrist circles, take those hands and go from a closed palm to an open finger, closed palm, open finger. Again, we want a real good stretch on those hands. So try to move them around a little bit, even wiggle those fingers if you need to. Turn towards the wall and put the hands on there lightly holding the wall. What we're going to do is we're going to just step up, up, 
down, down. So you're going to go up with the right, up with the left, down with the right, down with the left. So you're just going to keep continuing to go up and down. While you do these, engage your abdominals, keep the shoulders relaxed, and really try not to, you know, hold like with a death grip onto that side, you know, try to keep those fingers, you know, relaxed as much as possible when you do these moves today. You can try a few with the alternate lead leg. So starting with the left foot going up first, then the right. And you can even alternate some with the right first, then some with the left. So just play around with getting comfortable with the wall and how high you can step on that wall. So we're trying to take it to your range of motion and getting very familiar with these movements. Now just gently touching the wall here, we're going to extend your body from the wall, left and right, alternating leg lifts behind you. This is going to stretch out the front of the body, those hip flexors. So if any time today you feel tight on the front of the body, you can do these. And let's go a little bit faster with them because we're really trying to warm up. We're just going to go bounding from foot to foot. Just give me some alternating legs here. Try not to arch through your back. Start angling those lifts out to the sides and eventually it's going to turn into a pendulum just right out to the right, then out to the left and make those pendulum legs. Just make sure those hips are nice and warm. Let's slow it down, hold onto the wall for balance support, and bring one leg up and just circle the foot around for some circles and some point and flexes. This is going to help to get those ankles all ready and get our range of motion because we will be stepping up onto the wall quite a bit and we want to make sure our ankles are all ready. So again, some circles, some point and flex, whatever you need to do. And again, you can always pause and take more range of motion stretching as needed. After you're done with those, let's grab some water and let's get ready to move a little bit faster, everybody. Let's begin by bringing up the hurry in a wide and narrow jog. Now, at any point today, you can use that wall. It's right there for your support or you can hang off just a little bit from the side there and move freely as much or a little holding onto the wall as you need to today. When you do hold onto the wall, please make sure that you're using neutral wrists. That means a long, strong wrist. Let's face the wall and gently grip the wall. We are going to do wall crawls. So what I want you to do is walk up the wall, literally. You're going to do small steps up the wall. You can do two or three steps or even four. Uh, what we're just trying to do is get the range of motion started, going up and then going back down. And we're just going to go right, left, right, left, up to where you feel comfortable. And then you're going to bring it back down. So we're going to stretch out those back muscles, get the shoulders ready, feel how our grip feels, and then come on back down. And let's try a few more of those. Okay, so you can continue with that or we're going to switch it up and speed it up actually. So you're going to start tapping the right foot then the left foot onto the wall and you know a moderate height and then what you're going to do is you're going to just swap the foot. So the right foot will be on, left off, then the left foot will be on, right will be off. So alternating the feet taps right on the wall. And again, use your own range of motion. Try to stay with a tall posture as you do this and just tapping on and off and try to go for some speed. It's not going to be a real strong tap, but speedier tap there so we can get that heart rate up and get that water moving.
let's slow it on down and we're going to bring ourselves sideways to the wall and we're going to start doing some hip abductions. So the outside leg is just going to lift out to the side and then come on back down for a tap in, lift out to the side and then tap in. Try to stay really strong in your abdominals with this movement. We're going for about 12 to 18 reps on the each side, but if your hips start to bother you at any point, please take a break until we move on to the next exercise. Let's change it into a figure eight hip. So you're going to just keep the knee bent and you're going to make a figure eight sideways with the hips. So you're going to rotate it in and outward, in and outward. Let's turn around and do the other side, that hip abduction, which is also called a side leg lift, out to the side and then down, gently tapping in and out, staying with the tall posture, using the wall to support yourself for balance. Let's change it into those figure eight hips. Again, you're using the outside leg. You're just gonna bring the knee in and out in an eight-shaped fashion, an eight on its side, yep. We're going back to some more cardio. Let's go into those alternating foot taps to the wall. Again, you can hold on gently to the wall or you can choose to not have any hands at all. Put those hands on the hips and you're just tapping, just so lightly just tapping. This one here I've shown with and without shoes. I preferred it with shoes for that tapping, but it's up to you. Uh, just make sure you protect those feet, point those toes upward. Well, let's take it down a notch into some donkey kicks. So we're just gonna face the wall, gently holding onto the wall. We're gonna take one leg, we're gonna drive the foot back, tuck the knee in, then drive the foot back. So it's a knee repeater in the front with a leg extension behind. So just kicking backwards behind you, pumping through it, using your abdominals to get a good forward and backwards motion here. Step in and switch sides. Let's face sideways to your pool wall again and just support yourself by holding it to the wall or if you need to use a noodle for this one you can put it underneath your armpit. All I want you to do is just do a sideways swim so any kind of kick that you need here to just keep those feet up off the bottom of the pool. Try to keep a long strong posture here so keep the sides of your body from collapsing in and rounding so try to keep as straight as you can and kick those feet vigorously.
it's time to switch sides. It's time for a quick rest break. Just shake out those shoulders, a couple rolls of the shoulders will do, maybe some circles of the wrists and a nice big sip of water and then come on back when you're ready. Moving right along, go ahead and face the wall, gently support yourself. And then we're gonna take that right leg, you're gonna pull it straight up behind you, no arching at the back. And then you're gonna tap it down at an angle and then you're gonna bring it straight up behind you and then tap back in. So it's almost like a big triangle. Up, tap down on an angle, up, and then tap in, up, tap down on an angle, up, tap in. This is a really good exercise to help you strengthen and shape those glutes. Are you ready to try those on the other side? Let's do it. Let's give those hips a good workout here. So stand sideways to your ball again. Abduct the hip out to the side. Keep it out to the side. And we're gonna do some big circles here. So you're just gonna circle up, around and down, up, around and down. Again, you're using your outward facing uh, foot because you wanna make sure you have plenty of space and you're gonna use that wall as much or as little as you need to for support. It's time for the other side.
now it's time for a seat. We're going to sit facing away from the wall, back all the way up against the wall. And you're just going to slide down into about a squat here. You don't have to go super deep. You go to your range of motion. Once you're in that position, you're going to do alternating knee lifts. You're going to march it right and left. And we're going to try to stay glued with an upright posture to that wall as we do those knee lifts right and left. Now, it's not just a simple knee lift. We're also thinking about engaging your abdominals. So try to really brace your middle as you drive those knees up. Try to stay as stable as you can. Let's stand up in a tall posture and face sideways to your pool wall. Now you can hold on with the inside arm. We're going to take the outside leg. We're going to tap it in towards the pool wall, and then we're going to tap it out, inward and then outward. So we're going to get some rotation with this one. So you're going to tap in and out, and then eventually the outward tap is going to become a kick out. And eventually, after that, you're going to take and you're going to add a punch towards the wall as you kick outwards. So make sure you're standing for, far enough from the wall that you don't actually punch the wall, but you get close to it. So I want a nice strong movement here. And if you need to stand a little bit more sideways towards the pool, go ahead and turn your body however you need to to get that good range of motion. Time to switch sides. Remember, use the outside leg, tap inward towards the pool ball, then you're going to tap outward or kick outward, and as you kick, you're going to punch in. Let's face the wall again, and we're going to start tapping our right and left foot alternating onto the wall in a V fashion. So we want to widen up those legs, tapping it right and left. Now, once you get that and you're comfortable with it, we're going to change it into a hop. So you can stay with the taps, or we're going to hop on with the V shape, hop off and a narrow. So wide on, narrow off, wide on, narrow off. For this next one, we're not going to use the ball, but we're going to fold our hands in genie arms in front of us. And we're going to kind of like act like we're sitting down. 
in like a little squat there. And then once you get down low, we're going to kick right and left feet forward. So you're going to kick right, kick left, kick right, kick left. Try to really stay tall with your posture and if you can, try to go a little bit faster with those kicks. Face the wall for this next exercise and gently hold your hands on the wall. We're going to take both feet and we're going to just hop up onto the wall and then we're going to hop down, hop up, hop down at your own tempo of course so the faster you go the more vigorous the more heart rate yours is going to go up here so feel free to take it to any tempo you need to and again make sure you're using those neutral wrists and a tall posture. For those of you looking for an additional challenge, instead of hopping your feet down after you hop off the wall, you're going to kick your feet out, both of them behind you, and then tuck in and tap the wall, kick out behind, tap into the wall so we don't touch down on the floor, instead we kick out behind us. All right, let's go back to the floor here and let go of the wall. We're going to take those feet and keep them together and we're going to do some twisting hops. So your feet are going to hop and change directions from the right to the left angle and your hands are in the opposition of the feet. Let's continue with some more cardio. Hands to the hips. And all I want you to do is a jack of feet out and in. And now these ones, we're going to pretty much just slide them across the bottom of the, of the pool floor here. And I want you to go fast. Out, in, out, in, out, in. Fast, 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 fast. Try to stay tall. Try to not move anything but those legs. Out and in as fast as you can. Stand sideways to your pool wall and we're going to hang on to it. The inside leg is going to just tap with the foot on the wall and off, on and off. That's level one. Level two will be a hop on and hop off with both feet. Hop onto the wall, hop down. So that's level two. Now, if you're looking for a little bit more, we're going to do a hop off and an extension out to the sides. So just like we did before, but now we're using the side of the body here. So we're firing up our obliques and our abdominals a bunch more. So we're going to push out instead of tapping down. But remember, you do always have the option of tapping down if this gets to be too much for you, and especially those shoulders. Guess what? If you said time to switch sides, then you're right. Let's do it. About 15 more seconds on this one. Let's face 
face the wall and put the hands on the wall and then just have the elbows bent so we're close to the wall and we're just supporting ourselves into the wall and then bring the feet up behind you and we're just going to bring those feet out and in into those jack legs again and I want you to just think about engaging your whole abdominal section and bring the legs open and closed, wide and closed. Let's keep it going, but now we're going to change it into some frog swim legs. So give me like a froggy leg where you pull them up, tuck them in and open, tuck up, in and open, and just push into the wall so that we're not going anywhere, but we want to move those legs really quickly. We are closing in on the end of our workout. Only a couple more moves to go. This one here is now a mountain climber. So we're just going to use those hands on the wall for support. And we're going to drive the knees upward and inward. So again, you can always just take them forward if you need to. But we're going to go upward and across the body. So I have a tempo going here. So it's going to be a single, single, double. So we're going to do one, then the other, then repeat. One, one and then two. Option to keep them singles if you need to. And our last move is going to be another tuck and jump. So I'm going to hold on to the wall facing the wall and I'm going to tuck my knees up and then land off to the other side. So I'm gonna start with my feet out on the right, tuck up, inward, and then tap down on the left, tuck up. So you're kind of just jumping up and over something. Think like a log or something there, up and over. Another option for a little extra abdominal work on this one would be a stop in the center. So your feet will go off to the right, you're going to stop in the center on the wall, then feet to the left, stop in the center, feet off to the right. So feel free to use either variation of this. Amazing job everybody. Way to go. Now, I invite you to take some time to stretch with me today, especially get into the shoulders and hands. I'm sure we use those quite a bit. So if you have some free time, please hang out with me and stretch, but get some water, pause if you need a little extra time. We're going to begin here in just a moment. Let's begin in a stagger stance, one foot in front of the other, and then just take those arms out to your sides and try to pull back by squeezing the shoulder blades together. While we're here, let's circle the wrists around, give a little love and attention to that area. Make sure you have a good squeeze on the glute to help push that hip flexor open. Let's bring those arms down and forward, and we're going to lean forward. And I just want you to bring up your back leg behind you. Again, a squeeze on the glutes to help lift the foot up behind. It's going to really get a stretch on the front of the thigh for us, and we're going to use those hands to scull the water to keep our balance. Keep sculling the water, and now just bend that knee and try to grab a hold of your ankle if you can. If you can't, don't worry, but try to grab a hold of it to help increase your range of motion. Let's release the foot forward and bring the knee bent in front of us. You can hold underneath the thigh. As you do, just try and keeping your balance best you can. We're going to point and flex from the ankle, so point and flex the foot up and down, and then you can do some circles, some to the right direction, some to the left. If this is too much for balance, don't forget you have the pool side you can always use for support. Mm -hmm. 
lower the leg down and crisscross it at the ankles. You're just going to let the hip drop open and out to the side as you scroll your arms out to the sides. Now you can go ahead and change this into a more advanced stretch here for the hips, which you just bring the foot up onto the thigh above the knee and then you're just going to try to sit into it. So put a bend in the standing leg, sit back into it. Use your other hand to scull the water. That will help keep your balance. Take a nice strong breath. Lower the foot to the floor and leave it long and have the toes pointed up and the other foot is wide. So on my right side I have a bent knee, the left leg is long and I have the toes pointed up to get my hamstrings and my calf muscles. Skull the water again to help keep your balance. Step in and switch your feet. So again, I have my right knee a little bit bent. My left leg is a little bit outward and long with the toes pointing upward. Turn to the side and go into your hip flexor stretch. So again, you want to put a little bend in the knees, a little squeeze on the glute, and you can hold here with the arms open to the sides, or if you need to scull the water a little bit more, a little crisscross and open, a crisscross and open. Strong breathing. Lean forward, bring the back foot off the floor, hands out in front of you. Again, a nice strong squeeze on the glute. Hold a moment and then let's bring that foot in a bend behind us so we can get into that whole thigh and just use that front hand for that balance still. Lower the leg down and in front of us and we will keep it in a bent fashion in front of us and you're going to hold underneath the thigh like we did before and we're going back to those point and flex of the ankles. You want to get a few repetitions and then some circles in both directions. Lower the foot to the floor. Again, we're trying to crisscross at those ankles to open up the hips, so let the hip just drop out to the side. Use your arms to help you keep your balance. And then you can go into that figure four with the foot raised up a little bit higher in a seated fashion here. Take this to your range of motion to where that stretch feels good, no pain involved, only a good feeling stretch. Lower the foot back down and come to a staggered position. Now let's bring one arm out in front of us so the leg gets forward, the same arm comes out in front of us. Keep it out there to keep you stable. The other arm, we're going to just do a nice big figure eight sideways pattern, opening the chest, bringing the hand down in front, opening it up and bringing it down. So dropping it down and up, a big figure eight shape. Switch to the other side, so other foot forward, other arm forward, and we're going to do that big figure eight out to the side, trying to really open up those chest muscles, open up the shoulders and that rotator cuff. Bring the hands together, lace them here if you can, and push the palms away from you. As you do, we want to tuck in your belly button and really round. This is called like a beach ball stretch. It's for your upper back, right between the shoulder blades. So that's where we're trying to target that stretch. So hopefully you're feeling it there. Bring your hands together forward. 
widen your feet and then just rotate your hands from the right to left while you're rotating your torso. So let your middle drive the arms across and you're going to move your hips here in a gentle calming motion side to side going for some rotation trying to get your midsection to stretch get those hips to stretch. Keep one hand on your hip and then just reach down to the right then other hand on the hip reach to the left alternate reaching right and left down side to side just stretching down deeper on each side as you go. Stand in a staggered stance and just roll those shoulders up back and down trying to get all the tension out of those shoulders. Then bring the hands in front of you. We use them a lot. So let's do some wiggling here, kind of like piano playing. Then open and close those fingers. Yep, moving them around. And then let's move around those wrists, a few circles in each direction. We really want everything to feel really good for you today after this workout. So again, wherever you need to. And thanks for joining me today, you guys. I really appreciate you being here and I really appreciate you working out with me. It's so much better with a friend. Please like, subscribe to my channel and share with friends and family. I do appreciate it. Take care. Bye-bye.